on the season out of the pen. Looking at the standings, the Yankees are leading the AL East. They are more than 10 games ahead of second. The Red... Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. It's Sunday morning. Welcome to Inside... Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. The start of a new week is upon us. Let's take a look back... Pitch and Blanco bunts it, and it's a good bunt. Chote has it. He will wing it down the right field line. Here comes Crawford, and this game is over. And the Giants once again win a game in a very unusual way as this crowd goes crazy. Now on three and two to Utley with Rollins leading from second. Here's the pitch from Beckett. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Big lead again for Peralta. Holiday is safe lead at second. Adam swings and hits a drive. Deep right field. Back to the wall. And it's a goner. A goner. A three run homer for Matt Adams. 3 2 Cardinals in a magical seventh inning. Run it right at the first base. And that's an easy play. Oh, he missed him. How in the world did that happen? That is extreme agility by a former football player. That looked like he was heading into the secondary and evaded the free safety. 2-1. That is Dindle left field. Cespedes giving chase. Not going to get there. Falls in. Kendrick on his way to third. Cespedes bobbles it. DeSarcina waving Kendrick home. Here's the throw to the plate, and Howie is gunned down. What an unbelievable throw by Yoannis Cespedes. Salvador Perez, the 2-2. the show with Justin Allegri. The start of a new week is upon us. Let's take a look back at how Sunday's baseball action unfolded. Starting in the AL East, the Rays were in the Big Apple to play the Yankees, and it was the Yankees who came out on top, six to nothing. Michael Pineda gave the bullpen a day off, turning in a complete game effort in the win. As of today, the Yankees sit in first place in the American League Eastern Division. They are more than 10 games ahead of second. The Boston Red Sox were in Canada to battle the Jays. 0-2 coming. Swing and a fly ball toward right center into the alley. Bradley on a run. Jackie dives. Oh, he caught it. He laid out and made it. And now the 1-1 delivery, and here it is, and it's swung on. A Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Welcome to the show, baseball fans. Here's what's going on in the baseball world on this October morning. In game one of the NLCS, the Cardinals were in LA to take on the Dodgers, and it was the Cards who came away victorious, 10 to six. They now lead the series one to nothing heading into game two. Thanks for joining me. That's all for today's postseason recap. Same place, same time tomorrow. Enjoy the games. Stadium. Kershaw pitches. Carpenter swings and hits a drive. Right center field. What an at bat by Carpenter. More from the guys as this one goes along. But first, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting New York Yankees. As Joe Girardi's starting nine assembles this way. Wolverine will stand in, and you see the numbers for the series so far. He's really been one of their unsung heroes. Seems like in just about every series, you get that one guy who really steps up, and he's been that guy so far. So a good offensive showing for these guys, but if we had to pick one player that stood out, that's our man right there. He's our top. And they've done it! The Tigers have done it! For the fourth consecutive year, they are champions of the American League Central Division. Inside the show. 
Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Welcome to the show, everyone. Thanks for making us a part of your... I tell you, this crowd is making it so I can hardly hear my own voice. They are indeed raring to go. It's game four of the World Series. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. Pretty boy Wolverine will get his first opportunity here. And if you go by the numbers, it's been a disappointing start to this World Series for him so far. Yeah, he really hasn't gotten on track. And I think you have to give some of that credit to good pitching. But he's really been a bit of a non-factor so far. Still time for him to turn it around. Well, that's a good idea right there. He goes with the pitch. He's not trying to pull it. Shoots this thing the other way. Just happens to be right at the right fielder. Pretty boy Wolverine will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Oh Come here it comes. Hey, no one down here. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. Puig is in his tracks now. One gone. Pretty boy Wolverine will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. And here's a big swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. And this is taken in just shy of the warning track for out number one. Well, good pitch there to get the out. And looking ahead, he's due to lead off the next half inning. So in all likelihood, this could be the end of the line for him on the mound. Pretty boy, Wolverine, will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much in his first three plate appearances. He can make up for all of that with a base hit right here. should be 2-0, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1-1. One one. Figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on, especially when he needs that ground ball, but even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. And this is fouled back and out of play. Both teams have nine hits on the scoreboard. comes a 1-2. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. And a reach with the backhand, but he comes up empty as that gets by him. And that's going to plate the tying run from second as we've got ourselves a brand new ball game now. And a new pitcher is set to come on now as they turn things over to the finesse left-hander J.P. Howell. Yasiel Puig will stand in, and their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. The one and one pitch. Swing and a ground ball. This could do it. And this storied baseball legacy can add one more chapter. The Yankees are again champions of the world. They wish they could have done a little bit differently is win this thing in front of their home crowd. But you know what? I don't think anyone's complaining about that right now. They are a very deserving world championship club. And congratulations to the entire organization. Back now on the show. More reactions now to this series clinching victory. And 
down on the field, we'll get a chance to watch the presentation of the Commissioner's Trophy to the new world champs. second. Adam swings and it's a drive. Deep right field. Back to the wall. And it's a gunner. A gunner. A three-run homer for Matt Adams. 3-2 Cardinals in a magical seventh inning. Put it right at the first baseman. And that's an easy play. Oh, he missed him. How in the world did that happen? That is extreme agility by a former football player. That looked like he was heading into the secondary and evaded the free safety. 2-1. That is into left field. Cespedes giving chase. Not going to get there. Falls in. Kendrick on his way to third. Cespedes bobbles it. DeSarcino waving Kendrick home. Here's the throw to the plate, and Howie is gunned down. What an unbelievable throw by Joanna Cespedes.